Hey friend, you are back with the Aries Alchemist for another general tarot reading. And this one is for my air signs. So if you are a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising, something in this is for you. I honestly just didn't feel like doing my hair, so I threw this hat on. <laughs> but my hair was still big from yesterday, so the hat won't even sit right. You guys, I gave up. I was like, you know what? They're not here for my hair. They're here for the tarot. But so first you have the Ten of Cups in reverse, the Tower in reverse, the Eight of Wands, Judgment in reverse, and the Five of Wands. I'm going to clarify these and then we'll get into what they mean. Okay, the Ten of Cups in Reverse is clarified by the Seven of Pentacles and the Justice card. So this has something to do with just the group of people that you are around. You maybe felt like at some time things were going unfair, like you were pulling more weight in the situation than other people were. But Spirit is saying that's going to even out. I think that's going to be your title. Things will even out. Sorry, my allergies, man. Tower in reverse is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles in reverse and the Ten of Cups. Now, even though things were going a little bit weird, for lack of a better way to put it, at first, Spirit is saying that they're helping you make sure that this situation is okay. So what's most important is you literally just managing your anxiety about the situation. If you believe that they have your best interest at heart, they being your spirit team, then there's no reason to be anxious. Now, if you literally just have anxiety, it's not that simple, like an anxiety disorder. It's, of course, not that simple, but the more you reassure yourself, like the easier, the less intense that anxiety will be, at least. So the Eight of Wands is clarified by the Seven of Wands in reverse and the Six of Cups. And this is, again, just further reassuring you that your spirit team is helping you. Like, if this was upright, that would be a negative spirit that you're taunting. So this is saying, like, negative spirits and negative people alike. They're making sure that you don't run into too many. So all you have to do is vibrate as high as possible by managing your anxiety. And they won't be able to stick to you. Judgment in reverse, five of cups in reverse, and the knight of swords. Now, I mean, there are still some people that you have to interact with that really just don't like you for whatever reason that are separate from this situation so it's not like nothing at all will trigger you but just the people that you're closest to or that you spend the most time with you don't have to really worry about them five of wands clarified by the page of cups in reverse and the hierophant in reverse um, they're just throwing in there that the rest was not about any type of romantic relationship. This more has to do with either family or the people that you work with. I will get your word of the week and then we'll get out of here. And your word of the week is tenacity, and this is the burdock root. So for you to be more tenacious in this situation, it's really saying you just need to cleanse yourself, specifically a crown cleanse. So you could do like a white bath. You can just Google it, honestly, and whatever recipe sticks out to you the most, that's just going to be the best one for you. Or you can just sleep with amethyst and lavender. But that's what I have for you guys. If anything resonated, like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, of course. And if you would like a personal reading, you can book one through the link in my description box. All right, y'all. Peace.